I'm adopting this guy as my companion. That is so cool looking. That is such a weird creature. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in the last episode, we got through a lot of epi- epi- or phase, I should say, phase three. We were collecting a lot of stuff, and I was a little upset because we made a cake. Finally, we made a cake, but it wasn't impressive for Krona. So I came down, made some more cake, but I realized this planet right here, and let me show you the glyphs for this planet. This is the, the glyphs for the planet if you can get here. So there you go, bottom left-hand side of the screen. I am on the route to expedition or rendezvous number four, so that should help you out a little bit, but there is a planet with flying beetles on it. And so of course, one of the milestones you have to get is to tame a wild beetle and to fly on your pet. So let's come over here. Let's tame one of these guys. Look at this. This is so nice. Oh man, right off the bat. Offer you some food. Now you like me, right? Oh yeah. Let's gently milk him, number one. And then we're gonna adopt as a uh, companion. <gasps> craw milk, you need the craw milk. That comes from this guy. Okay. I didn't know craw milk comes from these. Oh, dude. Well, let's ch chuck out some more uh, creature pellets and get everyone down here to feed. Dude. Well, let's go over here. Hey, 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 hey. You guys, you guys want to, you guys want to, you guys want to do this, right? Here you go. Boom. Oh, they don't like to just eat randomly. Okay, you got to approach them and offer them food. Dude, okay. Milk. There you go. Thank you, buddy. I need your craw. Craw milk. Dude, okay. So you have to get these guys. They give you craw milk if you scan them. Oh, I got to get my guy to come in. Hey, land so I can get some milk from you. I need more craw milk. So if you didn't know, on the uh, phase uh, three, yeah, phase three, you have to gather eggs and milk. So let's see what I need. I have craw milk. I need to get, I have fresh milk and wild milk. I need to get warm proto milk. So I, I have some craw milk. I need to make I need to make sure I get some more though. Just in case I need more of it. So hey buddy. Get some food and give me some of your milk, buddy. Alright, thank you. Now where is my my pet? Alright, hey, 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 come here. Gotta call him in. So go to the paw. You can call him. You say over here, hey, over here. And he'll come back to you. Your pet should come back to you anyway. There you are. Hey, hey, hey. Number one, you're sad. Come here. We're gonna gently pat him because he's just feeling sad. We're gonna give him a, some food. And now we're gonna ride him because there's a milestone for riding or flying through the air on your pet. Let me show you what that is. Oh, let's collect our reward for adopting a beetle. Number one, we got that. Got our Nautilin chamber, submarine, yes. Cole, I don't even know how to say Coleopterology? Coleopterology? <laughs> I think that's the one. Okay. But you also get one for flying on your uh, on your pet. There you go, right here. Wingspan. That's on phase five. So once you get your pet beetle, fly with them. Move faster with the right thumb stick. There you go. And we just got to fly around a little bit, so... I'm going to fly around and see, oh God, 4,000, 4,000 feet. You have to go around with your, uh, your beetle pet. So this is going to be a pain. I will meet you guys when we get to closer to 4,000. All right. We're almost there. You guys, this took me about looking at my timer, about three minutes of circling around flying on my beetle. Look at this cool little beetle. Look at it. It'd be so awesome. Look at that. There you go. But yeah, about three minutes, three to four minutes. There you go. Wingspan. We got the uh, wingspan milestone. So now we can get off. And speaking of pets, I need to bring out my other pet because I need to get his trust up. Make sure he's the up. Oh, I need to pet him. He's a good little guy. And creature pallet. Make sure he's fed. There you go. And so hopefully, let me see. Limit number one, except the reward for that. We got rocket boots. Yeah, okay. We got the rocket boots plan, but we got that one knocked out. 
But the other one we have to do is earn complete trust from a companion. I'm at 95% out of 100. Oh, come on. You don't want to you don't want to trust me? Come on, hyper. Come on. All right. So he's well fed, he's well loved, he's doing good. Now let's get into our spaceship cuz number 1 I'm going to go to the space anomaly, but I'm going to show you where this planet is located. Because the glyphs are one thing. You guys can use the glyphs, but if you don't have the glyphs, it's going to be hard to find. So what I can do is I can show you I'm close to rendezvous number 4. Let me show you. Oh no, no. The fifth rendezvous, excuse me, the fifth rendezvous. I've already been to rendezvous four. I'm going to the fifth rendezvous, so if you select that, let me show you where I am in the uh, galaxy map. I am, like, really close to that fifth rendezvous. I need an emerald drive to get there. But I'm, like, right down here. It is a, uh... It is found by the Leaf Empire, so that system right here, it's a Gek one-star system. I hope that kind of helps you out a little bit. So it's south. It's just, you know, south of the uh, the fifth rendezvous. It is a normal system. It is a Gek one star called Ascended Leafia. That is where I found my beetle. So hopefully that helps you with yours. Now let's go back over to the Space Anomaly because I made some cake. I made some more cake. Oh, I have craw milk too now. But I made some cake... So hopefully I can impress Kronos with my new cake. So from what I've seen, Kronos, it's a random thing. It doesn't matter. There's not a specific cake you need to make. You just need to make more than one. So keep that in mind. If you're going to try to impress Kronos, you need to make more than one cake in order to impress him. It's almost like a guarantee because... He's not going to like the first one. He probably won't like the first one. It's a random occurrence. So you need to make a ton of them and feed him a whole bunch of cake, and eventually he'll find one that he likes. So let's head back there. I have six cakes in my inventory right now, so hopefully one of these six cakes will trigger him. But again, it feels like you need at least two or three, at minimum two or three, in order for him to be impressed with your cooking skills. So, uh, I think they just do that on purpose because they want you to make more than one cake. Let's do it. Come on. Let's present him with the glittering honey cake. Let's do chocolate. We did chocolate last time. Let's do chocolate again. Outstanding. Possibly the finest chocolate cake I have experienced in this iteration. Is that it? Oh, okay. I just had to hand him. I just had to give him one more chocolate cake. Are you joking me? Okay, well, I only needed to make one more cake. But again, it only took me two, but it could take you more. So it's a random thing. He's just going to love it at random. You know, either one or two or maybe five. So keep making those cakes. You don't have to make a specific one. Just make a lot of them. Let's do that one. Oh, and we got an assortment of cakes. <laughs> Let's look at our cake. Oh, my God. We got a lot of cake. The Cake of Burning Dread. The fluffy caramel delight, writhing jam puff. Oh, yeah, look at that. Most curious cake. All right, so we got a whole bunch of cakes out of that. So let's keep going. Holy cow. Phase three, we need to gather three types of eggs. I think I have them all, don't I? Oh, no, no, I need tall creature eggs. Okay. I need the tall creature eggs. Got that one. Okay, so I'm going to look for that one. We need milk. I need a proto milk. So I have the wild milk. I have the fresh milk. And I just got the craw milk that comes from your beetles. We need warm proto milk that comes from the geck looking animals. So we're going to need to do that. What else do we need to get? Oh, yeah. Sightseer. We need to find a swamp planet still and gather my trust. So technically, I'm still here. Let's get an emerald drive because we need that for the fifth rendezvous. So we need to make an emerald drive anyway. Let's go do that. So, in order to get to the fifth rendezvous, and you might get it as a reward, I'm going to skip all that because I'm just tired of waiting. I'm not going to go investigate and see which is the best route. I'm just going to grab it and move along with my life. So, you can, you know, wait for a reward. More than likely, they'd give you it as a reward, but eh. Um, all right. So, I have a, I need to get a cadmium drive. Done. Okay, come on. They really got to kick me all the way out. I need an emerald drive. 
done right here. So you need cadmium and wiring loom in order to get an emerald drive. So we have those two pretty good set up. Well, we have the blueprint anyway. But we need to move along to our next objective, the next area we can get to. So hopefully, we, we need to get proto milk too. So I'm guessing hmm, the fourth rendezvous had proto, had a, a proto gex on it. So the gex looking guys. Oh, look, at there's a special mission in there. I'm not going to do it, though. No, I don't got time. I got to do my expedition. I got to knock this thing out. We also need to find a swampy planet. So what we can do is go to our portal because any bases that we ran into or kind of flew close to will show up on our previous bases we visited list. Maybe we can cheat it that way. So a lot of people have been making stuff. No, not really. All right. Yeah, I haven't visited any bases. Oh, God. I haven't even made one. So let's just choose one at random. We're going to choose this one right here. Boom. We're going to go here. Five planets, one moon. Viking system. Let's go. All right. We made it to the space station. Yes. This is a good system because it has Hello Games on it. So it is a uh, a rendezvous system. Let's go in here. We can sell some of our cakes. Now, you can give it to Kronos and he will give you nanites for that. But I am way too, ch too lazy to wait there and hand them one at a time. So I'm just going to sell all of my cakes. I'm going to sell them to make room. And also, you know, make some money, too, while we're doing it. Chocolate, writhing jam. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep the milk. We need all the milk. Gooey chocolate cake. Ooh, cake of burning dread. I don't know if I want to eat that. All right, all our cakes are sold. We're good. We have room. But we also need to uh, look and see if we get some upgrades. What upgrades do we have here? Also, do we get a, a suit upgrade? We have a storage augmentation and a multi-tool upgrade. So let's see. Oh, yeah, we also have a humble drive, a submarine upgrade. I, now, they're give, making us do a submarine. So that means we're going to have to do some underwater stuff later on. But first, knock this one out. Upgrade my starship. And we're cleaning up. There we go. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we can't upgrade our uh, multi-tool anymore. But let's see. Let's see. We are maxed out because we're only a C-class. You cannot get any more storage in here. Dang it. All right. That's okay. So that means we're going to have to move this over here. I'm going to sell my Humboldt drive. Oh, yeah. We need to see what upgrades we have in here. Have any uh, good upgrades for me? Um, mining beam, S-class, I'll take that. And nothing else, but we're going to sell our humble drive. I'm not going to use a submarine. I'll just go underwater on my own. But I'll use that uh, scan, uh, mining beam module, yes. All right, so that means all my S-classes are together. All my A-classes are down here. All right. Now let's go check out... Oh, look at that one. That one looks nice. It has... The wings that are good, unlike mine, that have, you know, wings that aren't so good. <laughs> All right. So, a rainy planet. This is, uh, I think this is where we went, right? But, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Imminent core detonation. We're looking for the proto gek because that is... Well, actually, over there. let's see if I can discover... Did I even discover anything? No, I did not. Let's get in here and see what's going on. We're looking for proto gek. There we go, you guys. So I found them. So these are... Oh, God. Fall in the hole. These are the animals you want to look for. They almost look like little gek. They look like teddy bears almost. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any... How do I not have any of those pellets? Come on. Oh, he ran away. No, 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 no. Here, here. I'm going to throw it. That way you're good to go, buddy. But yeah, you're looking for the little gek guys. Because if you scan them, you see on the left side, it says warm proto milk right there. And once they're fed, they will give you milk. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, he only gave me one, though. So that's not good. We're also looking for tall eggs. I don't know if you can get tall eggs from any of these guys. But hey, you know what? I'm looking. I'm looking. 
No? Oh, what about you guys? The Triceratops over there. Uh, he'll give you creature eggs. Not tall eggs, though. Anybody around here? Nope. Actually, you know what? I should throw some food out because the food will attract them, too. Let's throw some food. Oh, there's a little proto geck. I can get some milk from you once you eat. Recently fed. Thank you. And you can also just look at them and they will tell you, oh, directing bowels. He's peeking a poop. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. And he's recently fed, so I can get some milk from him. Thank you. You're going to be recently fed too, right? Collect your milk. Let's see what you gave me. Wild milk. Okay. So yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting some proto milk and we, we uh, have to wait. Like if you go over to him, it says, hey, you already milked him. So you got to wait, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Depending on the animal, you'll have to wait a little bit longer or less. Depending on the animal. I'll hit you with the food. I saw a guy over here. There you are. You give uh, creature eggs. What do you give? Wild milk. These guys are all fed over here. Hey, you got any more uh, milk for me? Oh, perfect. Thank you. I just need that proto milk. Okay, I should be pretty close to the what I need, so... Gently milk. There we go. So now what I have to do is I have to take out my, uh, my nutrient processor from my inventory. I'm next to a, a building, a base, so I can't take it out here. But I have all my milk in my inventory in my processor, but it doesn't count. It's not in my exosuit inventory, so we got to make sure to do that. What is this guy over here? Oh, look at that little tiny proto geck. All right, let's see what we could do here. You good enough? Nope. No edit permission. Man, the distance between bases is huge. Let's go around here. No texture around here. You give me fresh milk? Okay, he gives me fresh milk. So let me put out my nutrient processor. Perfect, okay. So now I need to get my, my uh, milk out of my nutrient processor. Access the ingredients. Fresh milk, wild milk. That should be it, right? There it is! Perfect! Milk the variety of beasts! We got it! We got it, finally! So now I can stop collecting all that milk. <laughs> I got craw milk from the beetles, wild milk from an animal, warm proto milk from the proto geck, and fresh milk from another creature as well. So good to go on all of that. Thank God. So now I just need to get my eggs now. So I have giant eggs, and I had... Oh, I've, I used them all to make my uh, my cake batter. So I have giant eggs. You need to also... Wait, wait, wait. Actually, I should probably take them out. That way I have them, and I know which ones I already have. All right. So eggs or milk is done. Let's go over... Number three, milk. I got refined flour, processed sugar, and synthetic honey. Wow. They give you all the stuff to make a, a, a cake. Huh. Man. Well, that would have been nice earlier on. That's okay, though. That's okay. So now we need to try to get the three types of eggs. We need tall eggs and creature eggs. We got creature eggs pretty easy, but we need tall eggs. That's what's, that's what's going to be the hard one. Tall eggs. I'm wondering what gives you a tall egg. Ah, and also looking for a swamp. Still looking for a swamp. Let's scan that bird. All right. Oh, well, let's keep going. We're going to keep going to different uh, areas, trying to find that dang tall egg and some swamp. All right, you guys. I've been just been looking for tall animals. Haven't found them yet. So I finally just decided to come to the fifth rendezvous. And to, in order to get there, you need to create an emerald drive, which needs uh, not chromatic metal. What is that called? Oh, God, you need the red metal for that. So you need to make an emerald drive to get here. But once you get here, all these planets are scary, unique planets, meaning they are anomaly planets. Like, look at this one. And so you should have only one animal on them, so you'll be able to get a ton 
of nanites doing this, so... Let's see. I hope there's going to be a uh, portal around here somewhere. Well, you know what? We're going to be looking for the animal anyway, so here you go. Hexagon planet! It's been a while since I've been on a hexagon planet. Gotta go this way. So we're looking for the animals as well, so... There should just be one animal on this planet. And I don't even know where it would be. Where are you? Well, that one red dot. Now, I, I say one animal. It's not like one specific animal, like one animal on the whole thing. It's just one animal type. And so, you're not looking for like 10 or 12 different types of animals. You're only looking for one. Let's see if we can find him on here. I don't know. Okay. All right, whatever. We'll get to the rendezvous and then we'll do it. But there are other planets in the system as well, so... It seems like this is a good system to farm nanites, so I would re recommend... Highly recommend going through and... Hitting all these plants... Planets if you can. I guess over here? Oh, there it is! There's my hopping guy right here. And, you know, you scan it, you have your scanner upgraded, you'll make 250,000 off of it. But the bigger... the better thing is... Upload it, you get 250 nanites from uploading it. Just that one little nanite, one, one little, uh, animal. Now, it's gonna be found by someone else, more than likely, because, you know, people are really quick. So whoever's the first one to upload it, they get their name in the book, so... You just have to wait for, you know, hopefully one day you, you we can get in here early, but... I have a feeling everyone's gonna be in here way faster than me. And that's okay. I like just getting it done, getting the rewards for the expedition, getting all the cool stuff. Are we right here? Okay. Is there a portal over here? Oh, yep. There's the portal right there. So, there we go. Rendezvous number five. I'm also looking for freaking tall eggs in a swamp planet still. Good lord. But that's okay. We got our... All right, uh, nanites for this planet. We got it. Oh, yeah, we should probably accept our reward. There we go. A thousand nanites, exosuit expansion unit, multi-tool, and uh, storage augmentation. But that's not the only one here. Maybe one of these uh, these planets will have a really tall animal that will give, uh, give you tall eggs, but I doubt it. This is another. It's a deathly green anomaly. No idea, but hey, let's go scan the animal and get our nanites from it. I'm hoping maybe this has a really tall animal on it. That'd be awesome. Look at these rocks. Holy cow. Looking for an animal. And let's go to the discovery tab. There, no, no, there's nine of them here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was going to be a one and done kind of deal. Nope, there's nine animals on this planet. So hopefully one of them is tall. <laughs> but we'll find out. Let me, let me load in and get everything going. We'll run into him eventually. Guys, guys, don't judge me too much, but look at what I got. I'm adopting this guy as my companion. That is so cool looking. That is such a weird creature. And you get in a milestone for adopting three companions. So I've just been searching for a swamp planet or any kind of a planet that might have big animals, tall animals to give me tall eggs. This guy, holy cow, wait, 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 let's see. Come over here, come on, come on. Give him a treat, make sure he's fed. Wait, look at this guy. This is my, let's see if I can write. I can write him. Dude, that is so cool. I found this amazing planet, and let me show you guys the, uh, the glyphs for it. So, bottom left-hand side of the screen, those are the glyphs for this planet. That has a red filter on it, and this amazing, cool-looking animal. I don't know, it's just so weird. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. So, I am still looking for my swamp planet. I'm still looking for my tall eggs. This is getting kind of ridiculous, but you know what, guys? I'm going to call it there. Hopefully you guys like this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.